Alrighty. Here we go. Now, a bit of a break from the deathmatch wrestling I promised last time. I'd explore some other 90s Joshi wrestling, but maybe not the deathmatch ones. Maybe some people are squeamish and they don't want to see the blood and the violence. We're going to go to a nice standard wrestling match. Although, there's nothing standard about this. In the sense that this is going to be unlike any other thing else you've ever seen. Unless, of course, you've watched a lot of 90s Joshi wrestling. Um, this match is going to blow your goddamn mind. Hell yeah, here comes Kyoko Inoue. See, the in the 90s in Japan, uh, the face paint was very popular. She's got that whole... Um, uh, kind of got the Ultimate Warrior look going on for fans of American wrestling. It's the best comparison I can draw with that look. Ooh, hear that funky music? That can mean only one thing. The current Triple WA Women's Champion, Manami Toyota. Now, Manami Toyota has been called uh, one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time, regardless of gender, uh, by Dave Meltzer. And honestly, how the hell can you argue with that? I don't know if you've ever seen Manami Toyota wrestle, but just she is just on a whole nother level, man. I mean, you can make arguments for a lot of the girls from AJPL, AJW, like uh, uh, Akira Hokuto, Buna Kano, Aja Kong. You can make arguments for all them. Daimite Kansai. Jaguar Yokota. And I wouldn't argue with you on any of those. But for me, it's Toyota. 100%. There's a reason why she's regarded as one of the best. There come the streamers, which is a, always a great thing to see. And Kyoko Inoue, one half of the tag team, double Inoue with uh, Takako Inoue. No relation. I do love the announcer here. It's very good stuff. They clearing out the streamers here. You see Minami Toyota dressed in all black. Serving in stark contrast to uh, the very colourful gear of Inoue. Fans getting behind Toyota. Here we go. She had an Irish whip straight off with a huge drop kick to kick things off. Now going to the top straight away. You can see starting this match hot and heavy. What? She's got a hold of Toyota, throwing her to the ground on the outside with a huge impact. Kyoko Inoue not wasting any time. The fans rallying behind Toyota. Off the ropes comes Inoue. Big clothesline. Going for a second one, and again. Put her down now. You know I gotta pull her up to her feet. Big scoop and a slam. Now into the camel clutch in the center of the ring. Toyota, her look may be familiar to people who have played WCW NWO World Tour back on the N64. The unlockable character Black Widow is actually based on Manami Toyota. 
And you could wrestle men in that game with her. She was the only female character in the whole game, so that was... Oh, Jesus, look at the... Look at the extension here. The spine of Minami Toyota. Being stretched out there. Being thrown to the ground. Irish whip. Toyota to the top. Missile dropkick counters. And now into a Boston Crab. This is uh, Duran Toyota's first reign as, as WWE Women's Champion. Ending Aja Kong's two and a half year title reign with the belt. And she had absolute domination. And before her, it was a nearly three year reign from Bunda Kano, so... A lot of dominant champions in this time. And Inoue getting the knee drilled into the, t into the uh, between the shoulder blades there, like the lion tamer, like Chris Jericho. Really drilling it in him. Her body is like scorpioned at this point. Think of the and a pain on the on the spine and the back of Minami Toyota. It's an interesting visual contrast of the bright colors from Kyoko. He releases Toyota. I'm gonna pick her back up to her feet. Inoue in control. Oh! Looking for the burning hammer here. Maybe? No, it goes into the backbreaker. If I'm not mistaken, a lot of people think Kento Kobashi, uh, Innovated the Burning Hammer, and I thought so too for a long time. Um, and I love Kobashi, as you as you well know. Um, but the person who invented the Burning Hammer was actually Kyoko Inoue. She did it before um, Kobashi did. That's what I was sort of saying about in um, in the Megumi Kudo uh, matches that a lot of the stuff you see in modern wrestling, one of the really cool moves. They're probably invented by a, a woman in Japan in the 1990s. <laughs> a real uh, renaissance for wrestling here, and of Dragon Sleeper. Like she didn't call it the Burning Hammer. I think it was the the Victoria Driver. Now slamming Toyota down face first. I said this before, Toyota is my favorite women's wrestler of all time. Up onto the shoulders again goes Inoue. Also one of my favorites, to be honest. Jesus, just launching Toyota straight down onto her back. Kyoko Inoue is probably one of the most underrated performers, I reckon. And again, also being death up with now into the bridge here. Bridging her across the knee. So we talk about some of the, the greats, and all of those names that I talked about before, um, like Akira Hokuto and Bunakado and, you know, Linus Asker, all these people uh, get named, but I think uh, Kyoko I know he gets kind of forgotten in all that. The announcer just said, Chupun Kenka, 10 minutes gone? Looking at my clock, and it's only been 9 minutes, that's including entrances, so... Uh, I don't know what homeboy he's talking about there. Oh, but Toyota's just being stretched. He's like a foot straight into the lower back. Really stretching out the limbs of Minami Toyota. You see that shoulder and legs being... almost ripped out of socket there. As Toyota by her hair. Oh, a big chop. And again, those Mongolian chops coming in from Kyoko and I. Oh, nice counter. Huge crossbody from Toyota. Insane ring awareness. Hits the ropes again. Look at the speed. But gets countered and pulled back into another Boston Crab. Now sitting down into it really deep here goes Inoue. Cutting off the offense. 
You know, that offense was really going there from Toyota for a second, but it quickly, quickly cut down. Boston Crab in tight now. Toyota screaming in pain. Trying to reach back. Toyota desperately clawing. I mean, she's nowhere near the ropes here that she's going to have to just grit and bear this pain. You can see that she is. Oh, here we go. Getting some momentum toward those ropes. Reaching out. She gets to the ropes. The, the rope hold will have to be broken. And she does. And in no way releases. And cheering for Toyota. Whip. Oh, now a springboard. Oh, my God. A springboard for Inoue gets countered from the drop kick by Toyota. Right into the spine. And the crowd come alive. Now got hold of the hair. Toyota with the double underhooks here. Going to hoist Inoue up onto the ropes. What has she got planned here? Oh, look at this. The leg is trapped. It's kind of around that top rope and then into the bottom rope there. Very precarious position. Toyota going to get some run up here. Huge drop kick. Compressing Toyota like a pancake. Now coming in again with another one. Look at the speed. The speed on Monami Toyota when she runs those ropes. It is insane. And now, oh, look at this. Modified abdominal stretch. Her tie locked in, got the head over the, the leg over the head there. Releasing now, gonna, oh, takes that like beautiful transition. That's some uh, incredible ring awareness. And she's got a hold of that leg. And she's got her legs kind of scissored around it, so it's very hard for Inoue to get out. Inoue in trouble here. Trying to edge toward the corner and perhaps does get the rope break. And a roll through, another beautiful like, ring awareness. And again, but Bikyoko gets to the ropes. And again, pulling her away. Trying to get in a way trapped here. Oh, look at that, using the shirt to pull her up. Really putting pressure, look at that. It's like a, it's a reverse figure four. And again, so much pressure being put down on those legs every time she does that back bump. There she goes again, nice. Oh, look at this bridge. Look at this. The flexibility on display. Absolutely insane. Just the flexibility on display, and it's putting so much pressure on those legs that they're basically crisscrossed. Of uh, Kyoko and I releasing the hold probably puts a lot of pressure on Toyota as well, and they sustain that bridge an extended period of time. Oh, very stiff strike to the back of the head, rolling over and now stretching her across the knees. In a way, in a lot of trouble here. In a way, desperately trying to find a way out. Yeah. 
ねそんな23キロ体重減ったからって変わらないぞ Rolling off and look at this. Trying to, trying to get for that abdominal stretch again, but gets thrown off like a sack of potatoes. Off the ropes again, ducking under, curves through, gets yeeted. And now look at this. Oh, back to Robert attempted, countered, rolled through again, gonna roll through goes Toyota. Oh, rolling Death Cradle, Shades of King from Tekken. <laughs> rolling all the way around the ring with a rolling Death Cradle. Oh, just got the shoulder up. And looks like she hit all the, uh, all the button combos right to pull that off. Up top. Kyoko gonna join her up there. Huge, oh my god! Huge German suplex from the top, and I think Toyota landed on her head. A massive German suplex. Two, three, no! And Oe was just less than a second away from capturing her first Triple WA Women's Championship. Scoop and a slam. Now, flying all kick from Toyota, sending all oh my lord, sending Kyoko away to the outside. What is Toyota going to do here? To the top. Oh, a fake out. Mind games. Fine games being played now, charging for oh my lord! A drop kick through the middle ropes. I think her she may have clipped the top. The hammer bumped through the middle ropes. She went for the drop kick to send Kyoko and Oe off the apron. And Oe moved out of the way. Charging full with a devastating lariat. Now going into the crowd, Okiotsuke Kurosai, be careful please, says the ring announcer. And now it, uh, chaos is ensuing as these women just go into the crowd. Run up here from, in no way, big lariat sending to her over that partition. And she's, she's lost in the midst of the fans, and and are we going to pull her out here? Hoisting her under her shoulders, and are carrying Toyota back to the ring? She's got to get her in there to be able to pin her. She's got a hold of the hair. Oh, the scoop slam. Now to the top. Oh, look at that athleticism. Oh my god, a huge elbow. It looks like she landed on Toyota's knee. And a kick out. I thought she crashed down pretty awkwardly on that knee there. Oh, charging for. Oh, sending. Kyoko into the corner. Fighting back now. Up top goes Inoue. Charging forward, big boot. Toyota, oh, and again to the outside, falls Inoue. Oh no. Charging forward again, spring off the top, diving cross body to the outside, the athleticism. Of Minami Toyota is always impressive. It was like a standing jump straight to that top rope to then spring off of that to the outside. Back in under the bottom rope. Oh, 
Good slam there from Toyota. Now it's going to the top again. A lot of aerial maneuvers. Beautiful moonsault pitcher. Perfect. Into the pin. 3-0. Kick out. Toyota very well known for her extremely impressive high-flying maneuvers. With that hammer lock applied. Trying to work her way to the ropes and she does. Good kick there. Irish whip, no countering. Oh, countering again. Pulls her back into the hammer lock again. Oh, and a suplex. Bridging into the pin. Two, three. Oh, no. No, I think she just got the shoulder up. Only just though. Toto going to try and rally the crowd. Oh my god. She's going to go for the Japanese Ocean Cyclone Suplex. No. Couldn't get her up. Gets the kick now. Up to the middle rope. Going to try. No. Kick comes. Kyoko in nowhere with a huge body scissors off the top rope into the pin. Could have it. No. He got again from Toyota. You see the way Inoue just sprung up there. Spun around, hooked the legs around the waist, and sent Toyota off the top. The fans still going for Toyota here. Oh my lord, up under the... Oh no! Lariat dodged. Rolls up, springs, look at the athleticism, walks through, into a pin. Beautiful Yoshi Tonic into the pin, no kick out again. Holy hell. And now turns around, back into Boston Crab, goes Kyoko Inoue. He's got it applied tightly. The fans trying to build Toyota on here. She's trapped in the Boston Crab. Trying desperately to claw her way to that bottom rope. To break the... She's been in this hold a few times. A lot of pressure on the back. She gets to the rope for a rope break. I can only imagine the pain... Minami Toyota is in right now. Gonna try and oh no, they're going for a sharpshooter here. Or a scorpion deathlock. Whatever you prefer. Oh lord, and she sits right into it, sinking deep. Shades of Bret Hart. He's got it expertly applied. Twenty minutes gone. Gijupun Genka. And reaching back. Just that tight sharp shooter applied and Toyota desperately trying to get out, but she may not oh no. Turns it around in with camel clutch. The woman of a thousand holds, Kyoko no way right here. Really got that applied now. Getting further back with it. Trying to arch the back. I don't think spines are supposed to bend that way. She's got it applied tightly. So much pressure applied on the head and neck now of Inami Toyota. And again, wrenching it further. Yoko is hungry. She wants this title. And 
more than anything. To win this would mean she is the best women's wrestler in the world. The most prestigious title in women's wrestling. The Triple WA women's title. Now got a hold of Twitter's hair. Off the ropes now. Toyota springs from the top. Huge crossbody but misses. And straight back into it. Gets hold of the legs. Gonna try and go for a modified Romero special maybe. But it's insane. Those ropes, are, the top ropes probably... Uh, I'm not sure how high. Maybe like five feet. And she's going straight up from her standing position. Just launching herself up there. And then springing off. Just insane. Insane. Gets to the ropes though. He breaks out of it. He's got turned by the hair once again. Irish whip sends to her to the ropes. Oh, drop kick straight to the chest. Like a gunshot. Another scoop slam. Toyota now looking to go to the top. Big frog splash. No counter with a boot up to the face from Kyoko Noe. Now Kyoko going to go to the top. Let's hear her fighting back. And they're both up there. This could end badly. This is very precarious. Oh! Oh! Oh my Jesus Christ. Fuck. She just... Uh, it looked like Toyota's head. A contact. That's a huge drop kick just flipping Toyota over. Into the pin, two, that's gotta be it. Sure, no! Kick out again. So it was like the reverse service, but then just threw her face first. Under the ground. And going for that Niagara driver. Ducks the Lariat. Hoists up backdrop driver with the bridge goes Toyota. Two. No kick out. And now, another slam. What's Toyota got planned here? To the top. Toyota gliding open, oh, misses the moonsault. And moonsault always looks picture perfect. And now, Kyoko going to the top again. And Toyota going to interrupt her again. This didn't end up here last time. But what on earth? Oh no. This could be bad. Oh my god! I think she attempted a poison Rana. Didn't quite get the legs around the head it looked like. They both crashed and Kyoko fell straight down on top of Toyota. And you got to realize how hard that mat is as well. Like, that's the thing. I think we're conditioned because we see a lot of, you know, wrestlers laying on the mat a lot. We see it a lot, so we think of it as nothing. But that's essentially wooden planks with a thin gym mat over it, you know? So falling from that height straight onto it's like if you've ever been in school, there's little shitty gym mats they give you. That's all it is. Like, you at home, jump in the air and land on the floor right now. Do it. That's what that feels like. Oh, no. Kick, no. Huge Larry. Oh, look at the way her body bounced off that rope, too. 
Another huge running lariat sends Twio to the outside. And you see here, there's those thin gym mats on the outside too. It's basically what that is in the ring. I think the ring mat's even thinner. And the wooden floor. And now she's going to go for a uh, Boston Crab on the outside. And look at that, rolls through. I didn't, I didn't even know this was physically possible. For a spine to bend like that, but... There you have it. Toyota on the ring apron. Getting some distance. Charging knee. And I think... You know, I may have dodged there. Oh, look at this. Swinging her around. Be careful. Head dangerously close to those... To the, to the legs... Of those chairs there. Dangerous is dangerously close. I think Toyota favoring that left knee. I mean, it's been worked over a lot. She's been in a lot of those uh, leg holds. Oh, trying to pop it back into place, mate. It may be dislocated. She's up and she's walking now. That's good to see. But Inoue maintaining control. Springing to the top. Look at the athleticism from her as well. And the big elbow. Up again. Oh! And again! For a third time, perhaps. Connecting. Three straight elbows. Two, no, Toyota just with the shoulder up just in time. Fans rallying behind Toyota once more. But in no way, got other plans. Went for a pile driver, it looked like now. Hook in the arms, Toyota. Beautiful suplex overhead, now to the pin. One, two, kind of look like a modified Northern Lights there. Now got a hold of the hair. Another scoop slam, Toyota to the top. Another moonsault, picture perfect, may have it here. No, he's going to go for a second one. Just to make sure, just to finish the job, the double moonsault, but he's going to go for a third. Three consecutive moonsaults would put it away. You'd have to think. There it is. One, two, throw. Oh my god. Less than a second away. 3.999. So that felt like. German suplex straight down to the neck and again with the bridge getting the two. That'll be all for now. Another German suplex with the bridge. And again, only just lifting that shoulder off the canvas. You can tell the toll it's taking on Inoue. Those kickouts aren't emphatic. They aren't dramatic. They're just barely lifting your shoulder up. And Toyota sends her to the ropes, gets countered, comes off the ropes now. Oh, into a power bomb! Oh my god, I thought Toyota was going to be able to counter that, but didn't quite. Turns into a power bomb from Inoue. Oh, what's Inoue got planned now? 
charging forward, ducks under, elbow to the side of the head. Piotr back toward the ropes. Oh, Larry, it ducks and sends her over the top rope. Oh no, Toyota going to go to the top again. Huge missile drop kick to the outside. Insane. Just came straight out the top rope and extended those legs. Big kick. Oh no. She is getting a table. Now we turn has a table. This. This can't end well. Slammed straight down. Onto that wooden table. And remember, Japanese table is notorious for being very stiff and not breaking. Off the top, huge splash! And the impact is here, the table didn't even budge. Didn't even bend. That's because that table is solid wood. Like that. Incredible frog spike. Now she's pulling up the ring mats on the outside to expose the wooden floor underneath. Oh my god, she's gonna pile drive onto the wooden floor! The head makes impact. Good god. She gonna do it again? Oh my god. Surely not again, pile driver! Straight out of that hardwood floor. I could have broken her neck. And the referee starting to count. Starts counting at 13 for some bizarre reason after an indeterminate amount of time. But don't worry, it's fine. A solid hardwood falls of Corican Hall. Making an impact on the skull of Kyoko Inoue. Gets shoved off the top as she tries to counter. Diving through the air. Huge drop kick to the back of the head. Sending Inoue to the ground. Into the pin. Could have it here. No. Now to the top again goes Toyota. What is she going to do from up here? Another drop kick to the back! Sending it away to the ground once more. And again to the top. Toyota is just flying around the ring. The full post massacre. Drives again with the top of the time to hit it right in the skull. Into the pin. One, two, three, no! Just again getting the shoulder up goes Kyoko Inoue. Another ascent to the top. The true genius of the skies, Minami Toyota. Two, three, no, again. Again, Kyoko gets the shoulder up. She is unstoppable. Dragging Inoue back to the middle of the ring. Oh, gonna go for the ocean cyclone suplex. She hits it. That's gotta be it. One, two, three. No, in no way got the shoulder up out of the ocean cyclone suplex. Minami heard his finishing move. I have no idea how she pulled that off.
One of my favorite moves in all of wrestling. Oh no, Toyota gonna get her up the top again. This could be dangerous. Nothing but pain happens when these are up there. Oh, shoves Toyota off the top. And Kyoko ascends, or descends rather. Be the safest option. Oh, going for the Japanese Ocean Cyclone Suplex again. Up into the air counters. Oh, drop toe hold. Oh, got those legs trapped. And again. Trying to make Toyota tap out here. She might get it. She might get it here. Toyota in trouble. She's scrambling, trying to find her way out of it. Trying to fight her way out now. Kyoko has her. You can see the pain on the face of Minami Toyota. Gets to the ropes again. Just saving herself. These women, their bodies have taken a lot of punishment here. And again, back in the center of the ring, hooking that arm, again, hooking the face as well. Kyoko in trouble again. Hands under the chin. Breaking it back. Could this be it? Could this be it for Minami Toyota's title reign? Referee checking. Fans getting behind Toyota trying to will her out of this somehow. Will it be enough? Look at this. Just stretching out the body now. The left hand reaches, the right hand reaches, and she hooks the bottom rope. Toyota breaks up the pin. Now crawling. Gets hold of Toyota's hair. Now get a center toward the corner. Hits hard, charging forward, misses with the lariat. Toyota gonna try and get some momentum. Moonsault, oh my god, and she missed. She hit hard, back to the legs. Match to this modified camel clutch type submission. With the legs trapped in that reverse figure four. She's going back to when the repeated holds is a smart strategy because if you can work over the same areas, eventually your opponent's just going to reach their breaking point. And the legs and lower back of Toyota have taken so much punishment here. The question is how much more punishment can she take? Some might say not too much more. Then you gotta remember Mamatoda is just a freak of nature. Kyoko Inoue. Hook under the waist. So he's trying to hoist her up for a for a power bomb, maybe. But Toyota, using all her weight to try and keep herself grounded. 
Axe handle smash. Choco and I hoist her up into the air. Doesn't quite get her all the way up for the power, but I'm now going for the lariat. Oh, collects her hard! You see, it's where his arms go. I think she was knocked out with that. But in no way, going to the top, that's a big distance to cover. From there to there. To her to move in closer, though. Coming in. Oh, big slaps to the head. Some very stiff slaps to the head. That lariat was insane. So we got to meet in our way up the top. Gets to the top. Going for the... Oh my god. Niagara driver. Oh my god. From the top rope. Two. Three. Oh, and they shoulder up. And save power slam from the top rope. Hoist her up again. Night driver. No. Roll. So no. She's going to get to the pin. Two. Kick out. Just. Over the shoulder. Power bomb off the. Uh, power slam off the top. Rope wasn't enough. Charging again. Oh, springs up. Gets a hold. Huge belly to belly from the top. Into the pin again, two, no chance getting the shoulder up again. Big Lariat dropping her, just pulling her up by the hands and larrying her straight down. Relentless. Just getting the shoulder up once more. Kyoko Inoue wants to finish this. Been an incredible match so far, but this may be it. He's going to go for it, the Niagara Driver. Connecting! The Niagara Driver. One, two, three, no. And again, Toyota gets the shoulder up. Kicking out of Inoue's finishing move, the Niagara Driver. No idea how she pulled that off. Oh, that's a Facebook message you probably just heard. Ignore it, it's fine. <laughs> Very professional. The fans are going nuts for Toyota here. Now the double underhook. She's going to go for it again, perhaps. Another Niagara driver counters and brings her down. They both crash and roll outside of the ring. My goodness, 45 minutes gone. If you can believe it. Oh, the women are down here on the outside. It has been a brutal match thus far. The ringside crew trying to attend to these women up and down the ring. She's gone back to that left knee. We saw it early. We saw one of the ring attendants look like he uh, popped it back into place. And then she has the count of 20 to get back in the ring. And now I think she's won it. She's signaling that she's got the belt. But to her, needs to get back in that ring before the count of 20. You're up to 16 now. She can barely put any weight on that left leg. 17. She needs to get up here. The count of 18. Hand on the bottom rope. 
19 and rolls in just in time. Only just. But she's wounded. She's the walking wounded and Kyoko and I are looking to finish it. If it bleeds you can kill it, she's looking to do just that. A second Niagara Driver incoming. She spins her around. Spinning Niagara Driver! Kyoko Inoue is going to capture the title too! 3 no! Oh! Look at the kick out! The bridge! Toyota bridges out of the pin! Insanity! One of the damnedest things I've ever seen. The amount of condition, the amount of strength it takes to do the bridge out of that, especially after getting hit with the Niagara Driver. Two of them, mind you. Oh, just the punches here. They're gonna send Toyota. Oh, look at this! Springs off! Flips over, rolls through into the pin! Toyota could get it here! She could steal it! Oh, no! And again, Kyoka gets the shoulder up. Looking to quickly steal it there, but couldn't quite get it. Now by the hair once more. Oh my god, here we go! The straight jacket up onto the shoulders! Japanese Ocean Cyclone Suplex! One, two, three! Oh, no! She got the shoulder up! Kyoko Inoue kicked out! That's the second time she's hit the Ocean Cyclone Suplex. Hitting the ropes again goes Toyota charging forward with that missile drop kick. Sending Inoue to the ground. Kicking out of two Japanese ocean, uh, Japanese cyclone ocean suplexes, and here comes Toyota again, running, jumping. Oh, that knee's giving her some trouble though. That knee's really starting to trouble Toyota now, and no way, desperately trying to claw her way back into the ring. Oh, huge Larry knocking Toyota off her feet. Trying to find an opening here. Oh god, no. A suplex to the outside, is that what Kyoko Inoue's got planned for Toyota? She does! Oh, and Toyota hits the wooden floor, missing the mats there. Hitting the hardwood floors. Of Krakon Hall. Now going to drag Toyota around the ringside area. Now into the crowd they go. Fifty minutes of action. Keep in mind, this is a title match, so it's a sixty-minute time limit. Irish whip running. Look at this drop kick sending over the top, and you got to wonder here. Like I just said, fifty minutes have passed, but look at Toyota. Look at the way she's running and flying through the air. After fifty minutes, she's still moving around like the match just started. After 50 minutes of wrestling, Toyota is still faster than I am stationary, like, at, at no preparation. Oh, a knee across the chest. She's probably less exhausted wrestling 50-minute matches than I am watching a 50-minute match. That's the insane conditioning Toyota has. This is why people love her. This is why I love her. She can go bell to bell, not missing a beat. Huge frog splash to the outside. Not really a frog splash, but, you know. A splash of... Regardless. It, it is insane. The way she just... 
she can go from bell to bell and just be completely agile the whole way through. Just never stops moving. Now what is she gonna do? To the ropes! Huge Acai Moonsault to the outside! We're on the 16 count! Oh my god! We may see a double count out here! We're at the 17 count and both women are still down I believe! 18! Oh, but Toyota wants to finish this in the ring. She doesn't want to end this on a count out. She wants Inoue back in there. I think she could have easily made it in before Inoue because I don't think Inoue was getting up. And now. Oh no. Places Inoue on the top rope. Toyota rescinds. Double under hook, huge tiger suplex from the top. Down goes Inoue into the pin. Two, three, no, oh, and again Inoue gets up. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? The kicks to the head now from Inoue. Charging forward. Big Lariat. Oh, knocking her down. Hitting the ropes again. Inoue. Lariat again. The repeat of Lariats. What's Inoue planning here? Waiting for Minami uh, to get to her feet. Charging forward. Huge Lariat turning her inside out. And now what? Another Irish whip sends a big Larry. Oh my lord, she flipped all the way around. Turned inside out. And now what? Into the pin. Two, three, no! It's not enough. It is not enough. I mean, I don't know what more these two can do to each other. Oh, again, Niger driver, no, rolls through. Gets kicked in the head for her troubles. Hoist up again, oh my lord, Niger driver, there we go. Surely. Into the pin. Two. Oh, she does the bridge again. She gets the bridge out of it once again. Insane. Both so exhausted at this point. 55 minutes gone. Irish whip setting her in the ropes. Now rolling through. She caught her amazing work from Manami Toyota. 3 0. No! Again gets the shoulder up. Insanely fast work. On top again. Toyota. German suplex off the top rope. That looked rough. And now going to go for another German suplex. Center of the ring. Folding in no way up. And Toyota is up to her feet. She may be looking to win this.
grabs hold of the top rope again. Charging, insane speed drop kick, sending her into the ropes again goes Toyota. Another huge run up, a huge drop kick again. Look at the way the neck snaps back from impact on Kyoko Inoue. Grabbing it by the hair again, Toyota turns Inoue around, looking for the ocean. I go and suplex. No, I can't get it. Too worn down. Grabbing hold of the hair. We're so close to the time limit. Three minutes. Can one of these women put this match away before then? Bridging German again from Toyota. One, two. Oh. And the fact that these two are so exhausted after 57 minutes of wrestling, this could end at any moment. Any move could put this away. Hell, a light breeze could probably put them down at this stage. Is there anything left? And remember, in the event of a draw, the champion keeps her title. So Inoue has an increasingly small window to win the belt. Splash from Toyota! Could close it entirely, but Toyota can't put her away. Two minutes. Two minutes left for Inoue to get the win here, to get that championship. And also two minutes for Toyota to get the win. I'm sure she won't be complaining about a draw, but you always want to get a win. It's more impressive. And now... Sending her no counted to her in the corner. Spring up. DDT from in her way. Could this be it? Oh, she's gonna she's got more plan. She wants to doesn't want to give the pin yet. She wants to ensure that she can put Toyota away. DDT off the apron to the outside. But she's gotta act quick. She's gotta to get Toyota back in that ring if she wants to get the pin for victory. She needs to get back in that ring fast. No time to waste. One minute, 60 seconds. If she's going to get the win, it needs to be now. There's no time left. You know I need to do something here. Got the waist hooked. Trying to lift up the Nagra driver, it looks like. But Toyota goes into the splits, using a weight to hold her body down. So I know I can't get her up. 30 seconds. Niagara Driver could get the, the last minute victory. You don't have time to parade around in no way. Niagara Driver. Get the pin. You can do this. 20 seconds. Two. No. Oh, Toyota kicks out again. Niagara Driver in the final 20 seconds. Surely that was going to be it. But Toyota quickly come into life. 10 seconds. Finding a way. It might be over for Inoue, but Toyota might be able to put her away. Trying to get her to the top rope here. Placing her on the top. Going for the star drop driver, maybe. Falls three, and the turn. there goes the bell. 60 minute time limit draw. Oh my god. It is a 60 minute time limit draw. Nami Toyota will retain her championship. And what an absolute classic. Look, it's Paul Nakano. Chance of Toyota echoing throughout the arena. Just an absolutely incredible match. This the fans are chanting Zenjo, which means um, uh, is the company's called uh, 
think it's called Zen Nihon Joshi Proesu, which is All Japan Women's Wrestling. So Zenjo is sort of like the short for that. In appreciation for this company. And I was going to say that this match, I mean, I know it's just one man's opinion, but Dave Meltzer gave it five stars. He also won his Match of the Year award for 1995. And there were some bangers that year, I tell you that much. That's just one man's opinion, though. But And in my opinion, fuck, what a match. One of the greatest wrestling matches of all time. The best women's match of all time? Yeah. I, 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 reckon, I reckon so. What an absolute war. There's something... Something special about those matches that go the distance, you know? Both competitors have thrown everything at each other and there's there's no winner. You know? You reach the end of the time limit. I know in a lot of sports, a draw always feels anticlimactic, but for me... I don't know, there's just something... Something compelling about it, you know? One of the matches I did on the review was between Kawada and Kabashi, and that was also a... Um, Six minutes on the draw. It went the distance. And Kyoko may not have won the title, but she absolutely proved herself as an elite member of the All Japan Women's roster. Their bodies have been through so much. And that's the thing I love about Manami Toyota is that. And I guess Kyoko Nai too, also, um, that you can go through a 60 minute match and she's still moving around at a breakneck pace at the end of it. it. The stamina and conditioning that it takes to work a 60 minute match, just in general, is insane. To work a 60 minute match at the level and pace that Toyota does, superhuman. A lot of time in 60 minute matches, they'll slow down or they'll be, be slow at the start to pace themselves. First thing Toyo did, running drop kick. You know, there was no pacing, she just went balls to the wall. I'm just gonna go with the tie on the trophy, so what you get when you win the belt, you also get a trophy, which I always thought was a pretty cool addition. The absolute definition of a champion right there. There's a reason why she's... Oh, shit. Aja Kong up on the apron now. Aja Kong, that's the woman that Toyota beat for the title. Unfortunately, I can't translate what Asha Kong said at the end there. Um, I mean, definitely from the from the body language, from from the reactions of the crowd, what it seemed like was a acknowledgement of Toyota's skill, but maybe saying that, hey, you're great, but you're not as good as me. I'm going to get you back. And Toyota escorted out of the ring here. Just an absolutely incredible contest. There's a reason why this is referred to as one of the greatest women's matches of all time. One of the greatest matches of all time. 
should stop gendering it. It doesn't even because it's just a great match. Period. And I think it, I think Aja Kong did call out Toyota for a challenge because her next match is against Aja Kong for the title. And she is with Kyoko Noe. Kyoko gave it everything she had. She couldn't quite get the victory. But she definitely cemented herself as a title contender. That won't be her last shot at the belt either. Kyoko, even though she didn't get the win, she'd still be absolutely proud of everything she accomplished in the ring there tonight. The fact that she's able to form sentences after that war is a testament. I would not... I can barely form sentences as it is. I probably wouldn't be alive after that match. I would have died at the 30 minute mark. Probably before that. Mustache on this guy. え、と、もう 取ったばっかりで取られてダメだって勝つチャンピオン、強いチャンピオンを目指すと必ず完璧な形でアジャコングを倒して本当の意味での真のチャンピオンになります。はい、おめでとうございました。Just an absolute all-time classic match. And thank you very much for watching. Um I hope you enjoyed that. Again, I, I can't quite translate the interview at the end there. I don't speak Japanese. I know cursory amounts of it, you know, little words and sentence fragments here and there, but it's been two years since I studied it. Um, I can read it, but that's about it. Um, so I can't translate. It's not really my job. What I want to do here is just sort of, because I know about wrestling, just sort of give context to some of these matches and provide, because some people find it hard to get into these matches with a lack of English commentary, you know, not having English commentary is hard for some people to get into it. They find it, you know, uh, confronting. They don't like a language barrier. They don't like the Japanese commentary. So at least if I can provide an English speaking voice to get some sort of context or to describe some stuff that might clear up some things that might help people get into it. And that's what my goal is. Not necessarily translating, but maybe one day I can get to that. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.